right, the arranger track. One of my favorite features in Studio One, especially as a uh, songwriter. And being able to put together the song the way I hear it in my head. And with the arranger track, you can just record the portions of your song that you know you're going to have in there. Do them in any order and then change the order later. So if you look here at this song, I've got a song with four parts in it. i got an intro, a verse, a break, and a chorus. So the transitions between all of the arranger parts are very, very smooth. And we're going to go to the break. Beautiful. I'm going to show you how to create these here in a few minutes. So if I want to change these around, there's a couple of things that make it very easy. So if you look in the inspector area, you're, you, you might be like, wow, where did that come from? If you click on the actual tracks, you can see how the view in the inspector is. If you click on the arranger track, it becomes a vertical version of the horizontal uh, arranger track for you to easily manipulate and move things around. So we're going to do it up here first, and then I'll move a couple here so just so that you can see it makes it really simple. So if I wanted to maybe bring the chorus over here and have it before the verse, I can just simply drag it over. And if you see the blue block, it is going to replace the verse. If you look at the blue line that it puts there, it will stick it between the two chosen arranger zones. So now I can go from the intro to the chorus. And the transition coming out of the chorus into the verse is nice and smooth. Now let's say I wanted to put the break between the verse and the chorus. Now, you can hear here the transition is flawless. Let's hear what it sounds like going into the verse. Very cool. You can also do the same thing over here on the left. I can go ahead and bring the intro to between the break and the verse. So now the song starts at the chorus. And the intro that was moved has a perfect transition between the break and a perfect transition between the end of that intro and the verse. And let's hear it come around. No hesitation, no gapping, nothing. The transitions are beautiful. So let's look at a couple of the right click options here. And I'm just going to go back a little bit. Yeah, you saw some markers there, didn't you? Yeah, wait till I show you that. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a right click on some of these zones. You have a full menu of options to move and copy and to use it with a scratch pad. That'll be for another video. So I can go ahead and just select the events in the selection. So you can see that it goes across and it selects all the events, obviously, because I have no breaks in the events. That's important to understand. If you don't have any breaks in the events, it's going to select everything. So if I was to use my split tool and actually cut these into sections according to the breaks in the the arranger track then those will only be selected underneath that arranger zone just like that but since these were full takes all the way through we can't do it that way all right so let's look at another one let's see we can go ahead we can delete a particular range we can also create markers from the arranger zone which is really cool i'll show you that in a second and then we have the normal cut copy uh delete and if i wanted to copy and paste something I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to right click on the verse, and I'm going to say copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cursor, I'm going to move it to the end, and I'm going to right click in the blank area here, and I'm going to say paste. Boom, now I have another one. You can also, if you look here, add duplicate, you can hit the D key. So if I, if I actually select one of the loop zones, or one of the, not loop zones, the arranger zones, I can hit the D key, 
bam, 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 bam. If I wanted to do a really long verse for whatever silly reason <laughs> that is. So let's see, what else do we have? Uh, the cut, copy, paste. That should all be pretty basic. We did the duplicate, and then the duplicate shared, I'm going to save for another video because there's a couple of features there that are really important. I want to get into detail on those. So those are your right-click menus. Being able to shuffle around the arranger zones at the top or even vertically in the arranger uh, in the inspector uh, really gives you a lot of flexibility to put together your song the way that you want. And it's great because you can just record all of your stuff in sections. If you do it to the grid, it's going to be easier to use the arranger zone because everything will snap. If you're going to do a song in real time, and I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll take one of Tom's songs and I'll put arranger zones and flip those areas around just to show you. But that'll be for another video being able to use the arranger track for freestyle songs that aren't to the grid it's a little bit more fussy you have to get the breaks in there uh, perfectly in order to make that work but here's what i promised here i'm going to show you how to create the arranger zones i'm going to delete all of these just like that so now it's just a normal song now so if I wanted to move around any of these events, I would have to actually use the cut tool and then highlight the events and then shuffle the events around and move the timeline around. It's a real pain in the butt. So since I know where I'm at, one of the things I'm going to do here, I'm just going to double click right here in the arranger zone. There we go. So it makes a, an entire arranger zone highlighted for the entire section. Now, I know that my ver my intro isn't that long, so let's see where the intro ends. I think it ends like right around here. And it's the slow beat, it's the half time, then it goes into, there we go. So it's gonna be like right here. So it's gonna transition. So this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this the break. Okay, it actually goes to here. There we go. So now I've got that set. Now it's important that when you're moving these around and you're actually putting them in, that you don't start shuffling things around because you'll separate your song. So it's important to do the moving this way. You can also use the draw tool. If I was to go to the draw tool, let's see, where's my pencil tool? There we go, freehand. I could also do it this way and draw in that way. But I like doing it like right on the beats. All right, I'm gonna go back to the arrow tool. I'm gonna bring this out. I think it ends right there. All right, this is kind of like a bridge, and then it goes back to the verse. I'm just going to go ahead, double-click this, and it's a little, I'm doing this a little bit different than I did the uh, first example, because this is kind of what I hear in my head now. So once I have the zones created, now I can take this bridge and put it where I think it belongs. I think it belongs between the verse and the chorus. So now here's the transition. it should go into the chorus which is a full version of the intro there you go i don't even know if that's right so the cool part about this is you saw how i had it arranged in the first section and you see how i have it arranged here you can go through this and assemble your song any way that you want. Even in new ways, you can relabel re the loop zones. You can right click. You can change the names. You can change the colors. Let's go red and then blue and then yellow and then green. These are some of the color patterns I come up with on my own. And you can take care of all of that. You can see that the vertical version in the inspector follows right along. So you have 100% complete flexibility. The last thing I'm going to show you here, I'm going to highlight all of the arranger zones. I'm going to right click and watch this. You can see I have the marker track open. I'm going to say create markers from arranger sections. 
Boom, there we go, and it marks them in. And you can go ahead and right click on any of the markers. Let's say you want to maybe put some lyrics. I am the song of the year. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's okay. I am the song of the year. If you have enough uh, screen real estate, you can put whole verses in there, or you can just put clues to whatever you want to put in there. So I can, I'm can. i going to double click on this one. It'll open up the edit name. Yes, I am. There we go. Just like that. And you can put either whole verses if you have enough room, or you can just put little clues to the next lines coming up for the sections of the songs. And I don't think the markers move with the arranger zone. So let's see if I move this to the end here. Oh, they do. Okay. <laughs> nice surprise. There we go. So you can actually move those around and move your uh, lyric cues along with it. Let's see the verse. It says, yes, I am. If I move this in between the chorus and the bridge. Oh, sure enough. It moves with it. That's even better. I didn't even know that. That's something new I just learned. So you let's so as a songwriting tool, this is just amazing. So I hope you guys got something out of this, and I will see you all in the next video.